With a holiday weekend on the horizon, people are reminded of the dangers that impaired and distracted driving may cause. Reporter Chris Burns visited the Cuyuna Regional Medical Center to try some of their impaired driving simulations. Today in the Cuyuna Regional Medical Center employee parking lot, CRMC provided some protection. Protection from the sweltering heat, but more importantly, protection against impaired and distracted driving by showing the results of what happens if you entertain these. We are doing a uh, event on enough trage tragedy to uh, bring awareness to traffic fatalities, impaired driving, and drunk driving. In order to show people all the possible outcomes of not giving the road all of your uninterrupted attention, they had multiple simulations. They roll over accidents, so you actually flip upside down and roll all the way over. Well. We have one where you go down a ramp at five to seven miles per hour and you crash to kind of convince you to use your seatbelt. <laughs> and then we have some simulators where you sit in front of a TV screen and it'll show you impaired driving and distracted driving. And then we have a pedal cart with two sets of goggles one is impaired and one is distracted driving. They chose to have this event over the last couple of days leading up to a holiday weekend that isn't as forgiving as these simulations. Statistics show that over the 4th of July weekend last year we had over 500 fatalities from impaired driving. And we want to bring awareness to that and um, hopefully prevent some more accidents from happening, especially over the 4th of July weekend. If the simulations weren't enough to deter people from staying away from drunk or distracted driving, they brought people in who could shed light on lives after accidents. We've just been working with Toward Zero Dust and MAD to put on this event. We had a couple of speakers that also um, told their story and how it affected their family uh, to also get that message out. The goal of this event is to help impaired driving offenders understand the lasting and long-term effects of impaired driving and prevent accidents. Reporting in Crosby for Lakeland News, I'm Chris Burns. According to multiple studies online, the week leading up to the July 4th holiday is forecasted to be the deadliest week in DUIs in 2021. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.